Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a tag video. This is the get to know the fantasy romance reader book tag. The sweet and lovely Hannah Blackwell messaged me with this tag and wanted to know if I would love to participate and of course I would. And so me and a few other ladies are going to be doing this tag as well. I'll be sure to link Hannah's channel as well as everyone else who's going to be participating in the tag down below and I'm going to be tagging three creators myself they're going to be linked down below as well um but let's get into these wonderful wonderful questions question number one is what book got you into fantasy romance for the first time that one would have to go to my favorite which is Radiance by Grace Draven technically you could say like any YA fantasy book got me into the fantasy genre and wanted me to read more fantasy romance but this book truly got me into the fantasy romance genre. Like this was the first fantasy romance book I ever read, Radiance by Grace Draven. This is the arranged marriage between Ildico and Brishin and I love it so much. What really drew me in though for the first time was the original cover. This is the Fake Crate Special Edition, by the way. Um, but this cover just is everything to me and I was very intrigued by it. I think I saw that you could get it on Audible years ago I think back in 2017 was the first time I listened to it and I was hooked I was hooked and I love both these characters I love the world I love the writing Grace Draven can do no wrong in my eyes and so this book definitely kick-started my love for fantasy romance <laughs> question number two is if you could pick one fantasy world to move to for the rest of your life which world would you move to I have two and they're both from the same author <laughs> so I don't want to spoil any of these books and talk about things in depth in case no one's read these books and some of these books can be heavily spoiled if you talk about them too much so I'm going to try and keep it as surface level as possible okay um but definitely Valaris from A Court of Mist and Fury I won't I won't talk too much about it but this place leaves me in awe every time Sarah J Mass writes about it I want to live there I want to be there like it oh, it sounds amazing and beautiful and like my kind of place so Definitely Valaris is probably number one top pick. I feel like it's gonna be a top pick for a lot of people during this tag, so I don't blame them. And then I'm also obsessed with Crescent City. Like I thought this world was crafted phenomenally well. It has like the fantasy world that Sergio Mas creates in like all of her books, but it also has the modern technology that we know and are familiar with. So it was very cool. This world is so cool. Question number three is if you could marry one bookish hero or heroine, who would it be? We're gonna pull up this book again um, because I'm an Asriel girly and my book would definitely change whenever possibly his book comes out. I don't know when his book is coming out. I don't know if he's getting a book. If we don't get a book about him, I'm gonna write it. Um, I am an Asriel girly. Give me Asriel all day, every day. I wanna read about his romance so badly and there's a certain person I want him to be with. I already know, and if he's not with this person, I will die. Very dramatic, I know. Question number four is if you could be one fantasy creature slash magical being, who would you be? So for this one, I just keep talking about SJM, but Abraxos, you meet Abraxos in Era of Fire. He is the Wyvern, the Manon, the friends, and Manon and Abraxos's relationship in here is just everything to me. Like it makes me sob. Like it makes me sob every time they interact. This small little wyvern is able to touch this iron heart witch. Like, oh, I love him so much. Like, oh. there's like, I think even have like a vlog of me reading Kingdom of Ash, the last book in the series up on my channel. Like one of my first years on booktube ever. And I'm like sobbing because of Abraxas in that video. So, um, I love him and, um, just his relationship with Manon is everything to me. And so yeah, I definitely would want to be Braxis because I'd want to have that relationship with Manon, even though Manon is scary. Like, I would love to be Braxis though. Like, yes. And then if I want to talk about a book that's not SJM, because it's getting redundant, I know. Um, the Snow Leopard from A Touch of Stone and Snow. I love, I love him. Millivane just writes these magical creatures really well though, because the Snow Leopard like has a mind of its own and has some magical stuff going on with it. So I loved it. Question number five is if you could kill one fantasy romance character, who would you off? So I have recently got into this series. This is the Terran Soul series by C.O. Wilson. I've read up to book three, there's five books out. Um, and the villain in this series can suck it. Like, 
oh my gosh, I wish he would just die because he is awful. He's horrible. He's probably like the worst face romance like villain I've met. I despise him with my whole being. So um, I need him to die already. Okay, it's probably not gonna happen until the last book. I don't know, but like, he is awful. He's horrible. I'm legitimately scared of him every time I read about him on page. And you get like his POV in times and it's scary. He's scary. <laughs> Question number six is, which Finney Sermon's character do you truly believe would be your IRL in real life best friend? So. I want to say, I think honestly, Elaine is very much my speed. I'd very much be an Elaine girly. We'd be best friends because I love a lot of the same things Elaine does from the Akatar series, but we're not going to talk about that all that much. Okay. I keep talking about SGM books. To go a little bit more unique, Yvonne from A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane, like she is so strong and determined. People underestimate you if you look a certain way or you look a certain way on the outside. And she is so stinking strong on the inside. She is just everything I want to be and emulate. Like Yaven is my spirit animal. Like I want to be her. And I admire her so much. And I would love to be best friends with her. Question number seven is what would be your fantasy weapon of choice? Okay, so I didn't think of like a physical weapon because I can't remember any of that stuff, honestly. So I'm going the magical power route because like magical powers can be a weapon you know, like they can. So I'm going to go with Kat's powers from A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. Like I would love to have her powers. She can't, she's a kingmaker, which is a magical being that can exist like once every 200 years or something. And it basically helps, like she has magical powers that literally can put kings on thrones. And so she has to hide her identity or else like kings and people will be after her so they can use her and manipulate her to, to, get a kingdom. Um, so her powers, she has like multiple, but the two that stick out to me the most is her ability to tell whether or not someone's lying to you. Like she knows right then and there, like she can, she knows when you're lying. Like she's a lie detector, a human lie detector, basically amazing. And then she can also turn invisible. The story about Kat and her love interest Griffin, um, cause Griffin ends up kidnapping her in this book. Okay. That's how their love story starts. Um, <laughs> but the, they are the couple in books one through three. Like that's, the overarching series about them is books one through three and you get to see her powers just develop throughout the whole series throughout their three books she's so powerful and so kick butt i love her so much you could do so many amazing things with this woman's powers like give them to me question number eight is who is the sexiest <laughs> fantasy romance character of all time um i had a hard time with this one because i don't know like the phrase of all time is a little bit daunting to me so i just picked one that i think is pretty good i don't know if he's my favorite of all time but he's a pretty good okay and that would be let me grab the book because it's chunky rune dannon okay i'm gonna leave that there rune dannon he's good he's he's very good mm -hmm. i'll leave that there <laughs> question number nine is pick one fantasy romance book to burn this question is another one that's hard for me because i don't like to hate on books i don't want to burn books but the most recent fantasy romance book that I just did not care for was What Lies Beyond the Veil by Harper L. Woods. I just didn't care for it. I was bored. It's very formulaic. I didn't really care. And so I didn't like this, but I wouldn't burn it. That's a little harsh. I'm going to unhaul it. <laughs> that's the most I'll do is I'll unhaul it. Um, but it just wasn't my speed and that's okay. And I know many of my friends who are going to be doing this tag love this book. And that's okay. Everyone has their own taste. This book just did not vibe well with me. And that's fine. Question number 10 is you can choose one fantasy romance book. It is the only book you will ever be able to read again. What is it? This one's easy for me. Radiance. Duh. I've read this book a bajillion times. Not actually. I've maybe read it over 10 times in my life and I can't get enough of it. I find this book so achingly beautiful every time I read it and I can't get enough of it. This book is very character driven. So if you're more of a plot driven fantasy romance reader, I feel like I'm both, I love both. Um, but this one is definitely more geared towards the fantasy romance reader who loves characters more than plot because this book is very much about Ilta Cumbersh and just learning about each other and becoming friends and it developing into a romance. Um, and I adore it and I can't get enough of it. I'll read this book to the end of my dying day. Question number 11, if you could recommend one fantasy romance book to a reader that is new to the genre and wants to give it a try, what book would it be? Okay, I feel like the two obvious choices are 
the iconic Sergio Mass books, if you haven't read them yet, um, or the series, not just books. So the Throne of Glass, I don't get to show these off a lot, but I have the special editions of Throne of Glass, the first book in um, the Throne of Glass series. And then obviously the uh, Accord Fronts and Roses series by Sarah G. Mass. Um, this is the special edition of that one. This one's a Beauty and Beast retelling, if you didn't know. So here's the scene of her shooting the wolf at the beginning. Um, but this series, I feel like, is a great starting point for those who have never read a fantasy romance book before, but I feel like a lot of people have already read them. So I have a different book if you've already read these books. I feel like A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker is a great starting point for people who are just now getting into the fantasy romance genre. And that is because the beginning chunk of this book takes place on Earth. Our heroine here is a thief on Earth. That's how she makes her money is she's a renowned jewel thief, I'm pretty sure. No one's been able to track her down, find her, but she ends up getting into this weird situation with this strange woman who puts a spell on her and her being, her soul, whatever you want to call it, gets transported into her doppelganger's body in a fantasy world. And that doppelganger's body, like the doppelganger, is a princess and people are out to get her and kill her for certain reasons. And she's like freaked out. <laughs> so you're trying to learn about this fantasy world with this heroine and it was a wild ride, but so entertaining. And I feel like it's a great starting point for people who are not familiar with fantasy romances. This is K.A. Tucker's only fantasy romance that she has now. She's primarily a contemporary romance writer. So like, I feel like she knows how to write in a way that's geared towards also those who primarily read contemporary romances, if that makes sense. Lastly, question number 12 is to tag some friends. I'm going to be tagging three people today. So first I'm going to be tagging my lovely friend, Ashley from Ash Heart Books. Uh, she has gotten me to read quite a few of these fantasy romance books, especially A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. And she got me to read um, uh, C.O. Wilson in general. I love her so much. She just started up her booktube channel again. So Ashley, you can do this video if you want to. And then I would also love to tag Madison Fox. So Madison, um, she used to be Princess of Paperback. She's recently changed her channel name, but she reads so much fantasy romance. I feel like she'd have a heyday with this tag. And then I also love to tag Sam from Sam Reads a Little because I also feel like she'd have a heyday with this tag. She reads a lot of fantasy romance and I just love to see like her taste in these types of books. Anyways, there you have it. That was the get to know the fantasy romance reader tag. Thank you so much, Hannah, for asking me to be a part of this and putting this tag together. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me like a wizard emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.